hello today i'm on my own because carlos is preparing a new video for you so while he's doing that i was thinking i should repair my old garden jacket this is something i've been using in the garden for ages and it's really bad now we i found this in the second hand store in norway and it's not good it's, it's, it's nicely knitted but there are some mistakes here which i struggle with and one thing is that when they made it they didn't do the twisting of the yarn they didn't carry the yarn while they were knitting this this pattern and there's just a dot of yellow every now and then and with all these long threads on the back your finger gets stuck in it and it breaks so this a lot of the stitches has actually run out because the yarn broke and i tried to make knots here and there but my project now is to remove all the bad stitches and i'm gonna pre repair it i didn't find the right yellow but i find something close or close enough but i don't care that much because this is, is for the garden so i will show you how i put in the new color where it's gone so now you see on this jacket there are loose stitches here because the yellow that's supposed to be on this spot is gone so this is like the leftover of the yellow so then you have to find something that match or if you're lucky you find the same color i didn't because this is so old so you just start by attaching the yarn on the back like this and then you have to weave the yarn in so you get to the right place where you're picking up the broken stitch like this and then you see that's the place and there's supposed to be one white and one black and then one yellow so i used the crochet uh, hook to pick up the stitches so there i made the, the one white and the one black and then when you have the black or the new stitch you put the yarn in the stitch get out bring the needle out of the hole bring the yarn through the stitch and then you bring the needle under the stitch above under both of the legs and you make a stitch and go in the same place so then i made the first one and then I bring the yarn out where the yellow st stitch should be. And you, you use the crochet hook. And there should be two black and one yellow. So that's, that's the one actually. So you bring the yarn into the stitch and under the stitch above and pull it so it looks nice and then you go back the same way as you came out so you make like a duplicate stitch but you're actually making a new stitch in your knitwear and on this one you see there is another one missing on this side so you have to carry the yarn on the back over to the next place. And I have a very sharp needle. It's not the best needle to use. It should be a more round, but this is what I just grabbed. So I use it. And there you have a white stitch. And there's supposed to be one more white. So you just pull the 
white from the row above through the stitch and you make the white one and then there should be a black one. If the yarn is still there you can make a black one and if it's broken you have to fix it. But there it was. So there's the black stitch and again you make a new yellow stitch. Like this. And then you go under the leg above and you finish the yellow. So now I made another yellow one and there's another hole. So there's another yellow stitch missing. So then I just continue and sewing the, the yellow into the back of the sweater until I'm back to the, the other hole. You can just pull the yarn through so you know where you got it and then you put your crochet needle in the one that is still there and you make one so you have two black and then there should be a yellow. So it's nice when you can look at the pattern and see what you're doing. Then I make a new yellow, go under the leg, in the stitch that's supposed to be above the yellow, go back the same way. And then you make made a new one. And on this jacket you can go on forever because I, ha I have to fix all of the yellow stitches because they will all break and a lot of them has broken already and since I'm repairing most of the jacket it makes no difference if it's another yellow because after a while it will be a new yellow. So I've just finished this off before I do more. That's how we sew in new stitches when the old stitches are broken. So that's how we fix our broken knitwear and I still have a lot of yellow stitches to make and next time I will show you another way to fix your garment and maybe Carlos will be back. You never know. Bye.